Would you join me as we pray together? Heavenly Father, we love you. And we thank you for this celebration of a life well lived. Your servant, Claude Moore, touched so many people in this world. And Lord, we ask, Lord, that you help us during this time. We pray, Lord, that we would recognize and personalize, Lord, the fact that it was for a day like this that Jesus came and died. This is a day, Lord, that we both grieve and have hope. Because we know that Claude has inherited all the promises that you made. He's now enjoying, Lord, the investment he made in eternity because of his relationship with Jesus. And so we worship you today, Father. And Lord, we just pray that as we move forward into the future, Lord, that you will continue to do your work in us. And that we'll all celebrate together the love, the mercy, and the grace that you've given us so freely. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. The facts that Claude Moore was a good, generous, gracious, humble, a loving, devoted husband, a wonderful father to two sons and a daughter, so proud of his five grandsons and four great-grandchildren, a lover of all of God's creation to the love of his bluebirds, could just start to list 
that could reach from here to the front of the church to those big white pillars that I consider to be one of Claude's more pillars back to this podium. What made him so special to each and every one of us is why we have come today to celebrate his life. I believe he lived the life of Barnabas. Acts 11:23. when Barnabas came out and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with purpose of heart, they should continue with the Lord. Because of Jesus Christ in Claude's life, he yielded to the leading of God in how he treated people. He was an abundantness and an encourager. Years ago, before HR, Human Resources, was a department or even known of, Claude Moore was writing the book, not in print, but by living it and how it should be lived every day. A handshake not one of authority or one I'm glad that you got to meet me, but rather a real handshake. You knew you had met someone extraordinary. A welcome, not hello, how are you, but a sincere, I'm really glad to see you and glad you are here. That example he showed each Sunday here, never Never did he miss one visitor to welcome them and to make them feel at home. He never met a stranger. A look in his eye, that little twinkle, and a big smile with that grin, you knew he was really glad to see you. And if you were blessed to have Claude as your deacon, when we used to have deacon team, family team, family, excuse me, when we used to have family deacon ministry, he would always say, I'm your deacon. The love he had for our men's brotherhood. He wanted so much for it to grow and to do God's work around the community and throughout the world. Claude had time for you to listen really listen with concern to give his own kind of wisdom as in Proverbs 25 11, a word well spoken is like apples of gold setting in silver. He gave you always a gentle answer. He was truly a peacemaker. Matthew 5 9, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. To bring people together with one, with one another was his specialty. Claude lived Hebrews 10, 25. Let us encourage one another. Encouragement is an urgent need for our world today. May God help us to learn what Claude knew and did. Learn how to be an encourager. Claude Moore was a modern day Barnabas an encourager. That was his life ministry. Did you know when he was encouraging people, he was truly living out the ministry of the Trinity? In 2 Corinthians, blessed be God, the father of encouragement. 2 Thessalonians, Jesus' very core of his ministry was to encourage. And in John, the Holy Spirit, the name means encourager. Claude knew when he was building up and encouraging us, he was doing God's work, and we all were blessed because of it. A little secret, you have heard behind every good man is a wonderful woman. Maybe one of the reasons why Claude was such a great encourager was from the loving notes Nancy put in his lunch boxes for 40 years. The same glory brought to God through the life of Claude Moore can be done in yours own life too. God needs people who are willing like Claude to play a supportive role, to empower and to encourage others in their spiritual walk. The Bible promises spiritual blessing 
for those willing to work in such a way. Some people say that the Bible's old and it doesn't make any sense now. Look at the wonderful life that Claude and Nancy have shared together all these 70 plus years and hear what it written in the Bible. Third John 1 and 2. Behold, I pray that you may prosper in all things and can be healthy just as your souls prospers. Claude would want you to be an encourager too. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, very few times in our lives we meet someone who leaves an indention on our souls by a handshake, a smile, a little wit and humor, an easy peace that comes, or a love that shows a real concern for people. Oh God, because of your Son Jesus Christ, light shining in and through Claude, all of us here today have surely been blessed by this man and an encourager. We come now to thank you, Jesus, for Claude's life that has changed us all forever. We pray you'll be with Nancy and Steve and Vicki and the entire family in the days and the weeks ahead with your peace and your love that you can only give. And we'll give you the honor and the glory. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Must have been cold there in my shadow To never have sunlight on your face You were content to let me shine That's your way You always walked a step behind I was the one with all the glory You were the one with all the strength A beautiful face without a name for so long A beautiful smile to hide the pain you ever know that you're my hero and everything I would like to be I can fly higher than an eagle cause you are the wind beneath my you to know I know the truth of course I know it I would be nothing without you did you ever know that you're my hero everything I would like to be
It was a pleasure and a privilege to be Claude's pastor. Let me, on behalf of the family, thank the members of First Baptist Church for so many expressions of love and service, caring, and also the hospice of the Shenandoah and Dr. Deegan. They want to publicly recognize the part that each of these played in their lives during Claude's illness. Claude was the first person that I met from First Baptist Church outside of the search committee. He came knocking on the hotel room door over at the Best Western. I'm dressed in cargo shorts and a t-shirt. And he said, I'm Claude Moore from First Baptist Church. Glad to meet you. He was like that. He was a people-seeking missile of love and goodwill. He never neglected to look for you personally and to greet you personally. I, I often thought if, if you ever wanted to make a good impression of First Baptist Church, just send Claude. He was our ambassador served in so many capacities over the years. And I've heard so many stories as well from people who worked at DuPont about how he nurtured them, how he cared for them. And so in preparing for today's message, my problem was not having enough scripture, it was having too much. It's almost like the psalmist said, my cup ran over. Because Claude fulfilled so many of the truths of God's Word. They were just a part of his life. It was just the supernatural presence of God that spilled out of his life and into the life of his family and his church and his work and everything that he did. But a couple that came to mind immediately were first of all Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the step of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. Listen to this next verse. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. That, to me, fits Claude more to a T. A man whose life was blessed, blessed beyond measure, blessed beyond even his capacity to, to take in all that God had for him because he was always giving it away. He was always sharing. The second is found in three chapters, and don't worry, I'm not going to read all three. Three chapters of the book of John, where Jesus in chapter 13, verses 34 and 35, gives the one identifying trait, the one characteristic above all others that his followers are to have present and real in their lives. He says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Claude exemplified this characteristic, this trait. I mean, you could go to the fruit of the Spirit and, and find all of those in Claude's life. In fact, you could turn almost anywhere in the Bible and find where Claude was following so steadfastly after Jesus that he was becoming more like Jesus every day he, he lived. I mentioned to Steve the other day how much he was looking like his dad, and I, I found that even I, as I grow older, begin to look more like my mom. And I think that was in a spiritual sense, especially true of Claude Moore. The longer he lived, the more he looked like his Heavenly Father because Jesus was so present 
and real and effective in his life. And then the last part that I would like to share with regard to Claude's life is found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Paul is speaking to his young protege, sharing with him about how his life should always be prepared and ready to serve God. And Paul says in verse 6 of chapter 4, For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only to me, Paul says, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. I know in this present day and age it is so rare to find somebody who will put you ahead of themselves. In fact, it's a commonplace thing in the workplace these days and even just in, in the public arena to say someone is out to get me. Someone is out to set me up to fail. The difference in Claude's life is he wanted to set you up to succeed. He wanted to make you a success. He wanted you to be encouraged and you to prosper and you to be blessed. Those were not just words he spoke. That was his disposition. Those were his actions. That was his lifestyle. Claude portrayed the very best, the very best that God has to offer to a person who will give his or her life in full surrender to him. Claude taught me how to visit. The first day I was on the job here, almost nine years ago now, he pulled up in his Toyota pickup and said, let's go for a ride. And we visited people who were shut in. He came every day without fail. He wanted me to succeed. He, wanted, he knew that by caring for the, the people who were shut in of this church, it would provide for me a foundation for success. And he was the master of the 15-minute visit. He could go in. He would, with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength, engage that person, love them, pray for them, and on his way out, get a piece of candy. He taught me well. <laughs> I will dearly miss my friend, Claude Moore. Although we will be separated by time, every May 22nd, which is my birthday and was his, I will always be reminded that I have a brother in Christ who loved me who encouraged me and who taught me well what it means to follow Jesus. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a love by.
Don't you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind me Troubles melt like lemon drops Way above the chimney tops That's where you'll find me Somewhere Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for the many blessings and promises that you have given us through the lovely and beautiful rainbow, through the beautiful life of Claude, through your grace and your love, and especially the eternal life that you've given each of us if we accept you as our Lord and Savior. Lord, I thank you for this special and committed servant, one uh, that has such a legacy of strong faith, of a peaceful disposition that only comes from you, Lord, and the love and commitment where he served you in all aspects of his life, Lord. I thank you for this special person, Heavenly Father, and I help, ask you to help us to live out this legacy that he showed us, to share God's love with everyone we encountered, as he did throughout his entire life. Our Heavenly Father, I ask that you wrap your loving arms around this special family. Lord, and I thank them for sharing Claude with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. each of you to join them in our social hall for a celebration of life reception so that you have the opportunity to share your special memories of Claude with them.